Dear class 8 students, this is Nirmal Maharatha, teacher of mathematics of Paul school. We will start today class 8, first chapter, that is a rational number. All of you just pay attention properly and understand so that things what he taught to you, you can understand and read and you can ask more questions and give the comment accordingly. Look at this. The chapter number is 1. It is a rational number. A rational number. Students, you know what is rational number? A rational numbers are those numbers which are expressed in terms of fraction. Normally you can take any example, you are in the other words you can write A suppose the numerator of a fraction, B denominator, so write A by B, it is a rational number. So in general you can say A and B are two integers and B is not equal to zero. Some examples of rational number, we can take all the numbers like a natural number, N for set of natural number, whole numbers, F, W for set of whole number, and integer, I or Z for set of integers, and then the rational number, all these three together we can call as a rational number. We symbolize rational number as Q. So rational numbers are numbers which we write in the form of fraction. Say a fraction when you write by 1, this also a fraction, whereas we express this as A. So it seems to be like a natural or whole or integer, but it is also a fraction by 1. So like that you can write any number, you can write say any counting number like natural number, any set of whole number any set of integers besides you can write 2 by 3 any fraction 5 by 7 minus 8 by 9 0 etc are different numbers what you can write for rational number rational numbers are those numbers numbers when you divide the numerator by the denominator you will find out they will be giving you a certain decimal ending of their division. Say for example, if you take 1 by 5, is the rational number, divide 1, that is numerator, by denominator 5. So how to divide? Put a decimal, so that 0 will be added, 5 to the 10. You got here, this 0, hence you got 1 by 5 is equal to 0 0.2. Similarly, there might be some other rational number, say 1 by 4. You can take, you can divide and find out it will be 0 0.25. Suppose you will take 3 by 5. Divide 3 by 5. You will find out decimal place here. 30, 5, 6, 30. So you got this is equal to 0 0.6. So all those decimals which come to an end of the decimal places after the certain decimal positions such decimals normally we recognize as terminating decimals. But there is also some other decimals you will see 1 by 3. If you divide 1 by 3 what will find out? 3 you divide by this will find 0, 3, 3, 9. It goes on 3, 3, 9 goes on like that it is continue infinite. So therefore it shows the same number for repeating till infinite. There might be also some other kind of number, maybe like that 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, up to infinite. There might be also a couple of digits if you divide by, say for example, 2 by 7. Divide 2 by 7, see what happens. 7, decimal put, 7, 2, 14, you got 6, 0, 7, 8, 56. Then you divide, you got 4, 0, 7, 5, 35. Then you got 5, 0, 7, 7, 49. Then you got 1, 0, 7, 1, 7, so it remain 3, then 37, 4, 28, again it reappear now to 
at the beginning two, it was now repeating. That means the entire one, two, three, four, five, six, all the six digits will be repeating. So two by seven, we can write as zero point two seven five two seven five two two eight two eight five seven two eight five seven one four. And this repeating infinitely again, so it's one bar. So such kind of numbers which will be repeating throughout that you can say non-terminate no doubt but it's repeating such sequence also you can tell recurring decimal these are called recurring decimals decimals whereas this the earlier one is simply terminating decimals terminating decimals keep in mind. Both recurring decimal and terminating decimals are rational numbers. Thank you for watching.